Hi everyone, this is Hardik from Fuzzing Hotel. Thank you for watching my videos. In today's video, we are going to see how can we use Nuclei and how can we automate it to generate PKs for various CVs. As you know, Nuclei supports thousands of CVs and it is not possible for us to manually go and run each of this template and generate PKs for them. This can be very useful for people who want to write detection or who want to generate PKs for any other research based work. So let's start. So as you can see that uh, nuclei templates are hosted on this URL that is github.com project discovery uh, slash nuclei dash templates. And if we go to uh, say HTTP, let us see, uh, you can see that there is a, a directory named CVs. So what we are going to see is how can we automate this uh, CV pickup generation. And if we click on CVs, we can see that it supports CVs from year starting 2000. And you can see that it's supposed uh, till 2024. So if we go to 2024, we can see that it has a couple of templates. And uh, if we open any of them, let's start with uh, CV 2024-0204, which is a uh, vulnerability in Fortra Go Anywhere. And it is an authentication bypass. Now, if you are not sure how to install and run nuclei you can go ahead and watch my previous videos and then you can come back to this video where i have mentioned uh, like how does new how to install nuclei and how does it work so here you can see that the request it is going to make is an http get request and this is the url pattern so this is the base url and then it will send this url request that is go anywhere slash images uh, dot dot and then semicolon and uh, then wizard initial initial account setup.xhtml so uh, what it will do is that it will create a uh, administrative account and similarly if we go to the second uh, template that is uh, cv2024-0305 uh, and this is actually a vulnerability in ancast go uh, see uh, which is a remote command execution and if you see the request so it will send an http post request to this particular url that is classes uh, slash common uh, slash pusifacket dot uh, php and this is the like syntax so you can see over here that the name um, parameter has value ping then service name assist manager and uh, you can also see that the uh, parameter over here like param it contains ping command that is ping 127.0.0.1 id so this is the command which will get executed now the question or the issue which comes is how to set up the vulnerable environment now it is not possible in many cases that you will get the vulnerable software and so for that just to write detection what you can do is that you are only interested in catching this url request so if you see any snort signature or if you see any suricata signature you will notice that they will write detection based on this and this request does not require installing the vulnerable software so if you can simply install an http server and if you send this request as long as you are catching the request thing you can easily write detection but if it requires some response detection then in this case this approach will not work so in this video we will see how can we generate the traffic for the request uh, for that what you need to do is that you have to install a web server so installing a web server is very simple on uh, linux you can simply run this command that is sudo apt install apache 2 and what it will do is that it will install and configure apache web server on your system so on my system i have already installed and we can actually try it out so what we can do is that we can simply open localhost and we can see that our apache web server is working over here this is the default apache page so we have the apache installed and it is working and it is listening on port 80. now uh, if you know how to run nuclei the command is pretty simple if you want to run any of the cv template right you can simply use this command that is nuclei dash t and uh, uh, followed by cv template uh, file name and then uh, target which is localhost and there is another approach which you can use you can actually use id up over here so if you see the nuclei uh, help so it gives you a lot of options and uh, just in case you want to search for the template you don't want to give like entire template uh, yml file name then you can simply use this id uh, 
option and the, what it will do is that it will search for that particular template in the nuclear templates directory and it will run so this is the command this which is template id and uh, what we can do is that we can actually see what this id field is so if you go to nuclei templates and if you open you can see the first thing is id so if you simply give id as uh, like cv 2024 it will run this particular template now based on that what we can do is that we already have a web server setup and to capture the pkm we can use a tool called tcp dump by default i think it will be there but if it's not not there you can simply install it using sudo apt install tcp dump and uh, it will install it on your system so uh, and you can simply capture uh, the traffic using this command that is like say tcp dump dash i and followed by your uh, network interface in my case it is uh, local and then the pkip where you want to write this so let's uh, try to uh, give a file name which is for this particular cv say cv 2024 dash say 020 right so this command will capture and you need to cancel it but we can automate it using a python script and uh, i have actually written a python script so let me go through that and what this script will do is that as you see it has a main function and then it expects few parameters so the uh, first parameter is the interface name on which interface we want to capture the uh, traffic it can be eth0 or localhost or whatever it is and then followed by target ip so the traffic where nuclei will uh, or the ip where nuclei will send the traffic and then cv list file so you don't want to give cv list each time you can basically create a text file and you can enter all the cvs for which you want to generate the pcap and then it is simply like setting up this uh, variable over here interface target ip cv list file and then what it will do is that it will open cv list file and then it will read uh, each and every line it will figure out what is the cv id and then it will uh, name the pkf file based on the cv id so the pkf file name will be cv underscore id uh, i mean cv id underscore capture dot pkf so that you can easily identify the uh, pkf with which cv it belongs to and then what it will do is that it will start a, a pkf capture this is the start pkf capture so what it will do is that it will simply create a sub process with sudo uh, tcp dump dash i the command which we have seen interface name it can be like uh, localhost or uh, it can be like eth0 or whatever works on your system then dash w and it says this is the output file name so the output file name is created over here the pkf file name right so this is the parameter and after that it will run nuclei so nuclei uh, it will take cv id target ip and pkf file so if we go to this function it will again run a sub process and uh, it will simply run the nuclei command it is nuclei uh, dash id followed by cv id so uh, then dash target so what is the target ip and uh, that's it right and after that it will stop pkf capture and uh, for stopping pkf capture what it will do is that it will wait for five seconds actually let's do one thing we can change it to 10 seconds so just in case we don't miss any uh, packets which has been sent and then it will kill the process over here for the tcp dump and this is a simple script so now let us try and uh, see what does our cv list file contains so i have added two cvs that is cv 2024 and cv 2024 just uh, to keep things simple we are only generating two pkfs and now we can simply run it a python uh, generate pk uh, then our interface that is localhost uh, the ip where nuclei will send the traffic that is our local ip because we have set up apache on the local ip and then the cv list the file which contains all the cvs and you can press enter and you can see that it sent it uh, started sending the traffic this is for the first cv and it will wait for 10 seconds and it will move to the second cv and then we will see if the pkfs are generated properly or not so it is waiting for 10 seconds it has generated the pkf for second cv as well okay it is done and now if we see the current directory you can see that it has created two pkfs now let us go ahead and see the first pkf that is cv 2024 and see if it generated the traffic or not so we can see that there is some HTTP traffic okay here is the traffic 
and let's do follow stream and we can see that the get request has been sent to go anywhere images uh, wizard the same uh, pattern which is mentioned over here base you go anywhere images wizard initial account setup dot html as we can see it over here so uh, this is actually fine our pkf has been generated now what we can do is that we can check second file as well so let's see if the pkf has been generated or not change the okay wait okay so you can see this is the traffic and you can see that the traffic has been sent there is a http post request to this api file form image there is a post request data over here and uh, this is the data so the uh, traffic has been sent uh, let us verify it using API template as well 0, 3, 5, 2. so okay it is over here so you can see that this is a http raw request and this is the same uh, which we saw in the pk right? this is the same data so the pk has been generated successfully the only issue over here is that since we are running a dummy apache web server the response part over here will not be proper you will always see 404 not found because this doesn't exist over here so this technique work when you want to generate pkps for the request traffic but it will not work when you want to generate traffic for the response as well so in this video we saw how can we automate nuclei and this will help you in generating uh, pkps when you have a lot of cvs uh, list and if you want to generate pkp and if you want to write detection for at least for the request part it can automate and you can simply run the script and uh, you can uh, wait and it will generate all the pkps so i hope that you have enjoyed this video feel free to like share and subscribe my channel and that will motivate me to create more such videos till the next video stay safe and goodbye thank you